My name is Katherine Dara, and I'm a fourth year student, and I'm interested in small animal surgery. Yeah, my name is Matt Crawford Jennings, really long last name. Um, I'm a fourth year here at Virginia Tech. My name is Marquise Harper. I am class of 2024. Yeah. Well, it's what I've always wanted to do. I think my grandparents said the first thing that I said next to princess and superhero was I always wanted to be a veterinarian. And throughout my life, whenever I would go in and shadow different vet offices or work at different places, I think that's just where I was gravitated towards. I'm one of those cliches. I've, from Since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a vet, but I didn't realize necessarily why I wanted to be a vet until probably like my late teens. Um, I first started working at like a, a hospital when I was in high school, and then it led to me working at the animal shelter, and I just love to be able to give back to the community in the way of like helping the animals who make humans happy. <laughs> well, I went to Virginia Tech for my undergraduate degree, and thankfully the veterinary school is right next door, so I was very familiar going in and out and seeing how they work. But also Virginia, Maryland and Virginia Tech, we have our own sheep barn, our own beef barn, like all of our own animals. So we don't have to go out to different places to see things like that. And we also have a very expansive clinical medicine department. So we have an MRI machine, we have a CT, we have all the big guns in terms of diagnostics. So it just seemed like the best place for me to be. Um, when I came here for interviews, I immediately knew that I wanted to go here. Like for my undergrad, I went to a few places and as soon as I got there, I was like, I want to go there. And so my gut's been right this whole time, so. I did love Virginia Maryland. When I first walked on campus, I was greeted <laughs> by Dr. Pelzer, who was our um, director of admission. And she was so open and so bubbly. And she made me feel really welcome. She gave me a tour herself. And we got to see all the different specialties in the hospital. We went to the large animal hospital where I want to be a food animal veterinarian. And just to see like, the resources and opportunities here. I saw that when I was like touring years ago and to be here, it's like, it's a dream, I love it here. For me, COVID hit right in the middle of my second year. So we were all still taking the same classes. So before all of this, we were just in the classroom day in, day out, doing labs and all the things like that. Um, so that's basically what my experience was beforehand. We would come into school, do our classes and our labs, and we would go home. And that's generally the scope of the day. Oh, a lot of classroom time. And then, I mean, immediately after classroom, I'd go home and study more. It was just kind of that typical, I'm in the books nonstop. And when I'm not, I'm sleeping. So then I can study the next day. <laughs> I did have experience um, like with Zoom and different um, online software and stuff. So the adjustment was hard. I think one of the hardest adjustments was um, like the mental health aspect, being alone, because we were we would come to camp like maybe an hour at a time to like do lab work. For the most part, we were online unless we came in for exam. That's one time we saw the entire class. But well, the most immediate changes that had to happen was everything was moved virtually. So all of our classes were moved online on Zoom, and all of our labs got a little bit shifted. So we still had some labs; they were greatly reduced, but we were broken up into smaller groups and we had to come in in multiple different smaller groups like that. But um, the biggest thing that changed for our class between our second year and our third year, we're supposed to have our little break of clinics. But for us, since COVID hit and things were so in the air, all of our clinical rotations that summer were canceled and moved to the summer between our third and fourth year. So the big change for us was we didn't get a break between our third and fourth year. We went straight from third year, the entire year of classes, straight into clinics for the summer, and then straight into another year of clinics. So we didn't get as much break as we would have liked to go and interview at different practices or something like that. Yeah, I think they were pretty quick to, you know, send us all home and keep us home for our safety, which I thought was a positive thing. Um, I, you know, I'm not scared of the virus. I'm scared of bringing it home to my family and it affecting my family and, you know, our income not um, so that was kind of nice and and you know if we had to come in for something physical like labs which was really nice they tried to make those a priority but if someone got sick or felt kind of ill then we weren't expected to show up so it was kind of nice so i guess a lot of professors realize that they can use like on online, online platform that's a way to communicate instead of always having a meet in person or let me 
be there with you to communicate, right? So with Zoom, and, but being that we had to use Zoom with a lot of professors, realized that this is a really good way to communicate. They could be at home and be like, okay, I'm available from 7 to 8 p.m. In regards to them being here and they're leaving, and okay, I'm done at this point because I live at five. And a lot of professors, we actually had a few professors who actually do like study sessions from her own house. And it's like, here, we're here together. We're learning. I'm, I'm taking time on my day to meet with you. I feel like just with a lot of other veterinary programs, they pretty much had to roll with the punches because they both had to balance what we needed from our curriculum and what the state government was telling us about um, what restrictions we had to follow and everything. So in terms of my year, I think that they did a pretty good job about switching everything as seamlessly as possible to online and still providing us with the labs that we needed. I don't necessarily have something to compare it to, to like give you like a good definitive this answer. I think, in my opinion, I think they did pretty well for what we were given considering we haven't had a pandemic in over a hundred some years. So I, I, I don't think I really negatively or had negative experiences that were different because of how the school responded to the pandemic. I think the med school, they, 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 did what, they did what they could. So they still tried to help like, um, like mental health workshops online. They still offered like services, like if you're struggling with a certain course or whatnot, certain, certain type of people have, still have office hours or virtual hours. You still can go in there, sit, until they're, sit inside their virtual hours, ask them questions. So even though we weren't in person, we still, so you still got the same connection because they were willing to make time for us even though it wasn't like me and you right now. Bam. Good job.